huge milestone by the DRDO. Now, the DRDO has successfully conducted the maiden flight trials of its stratospheric airship platform from the Shiopur trial site in Madhya Pradesh. The Defence Ministry has said that this was developed by the Aerial Delivery Research and Development Establishment in Agra. The airship was launched carrying an instrumental payload to an altitude of around 17 kilometers. In a post on social media platform X, the DRDO said, and I quote, that the DRDO has successfully conducted its maiden flight trial of stratospheric airship with instrumental payload to an altitude of around 17 kilometers. This lighter than air system will enhance India's earth observation and intelligence surveillance and uh, recce capabilities, making the country one of the few countries in the world having such indigenous capabilities. So, Pradeep, India has entered another elite club and this time, this, uh, uh, you know, this mission of the DRDO, this successful flight of the DRDO goes on to ensure that Bharat's Rakshaks are in the stratosphere. What more do we know about this? Yes, you're absolutely right. It's going to be kind of a Suraksha cover so far as uh, the stratosphere is concerned because this maiden flight uh, airship was stratosphere airship was conducted uh, and uh, this is uh, going to provide uh, help so far as reconnaissance is concerned. This is going to provide help so far as surveillance is concerned because modern boards are uh, based on the surveillance and reconnaissance. If you have better surveillance, you have better reconnaissance, that you always have an edge over the enemy because it will have a proper uh, so observation so far as Earth is concerned. You rightly said it's another flag. Uh, other feather in the clap of uh, defense research uh, development organization and uh, this is going to give India an edge uh, so far as other countries are concerned because if we talk about this particular uh, DRDO uh, yeah. achievement because the maiden trial was conducted as you rightly said that it was flying at an altitude of about uh, 17 kilometers it can keep an observation from above and because when you have been talking about Star Wars and many other things what actually is required that it's all about the intelligence if you have got the proper intelligence only then you're going to pay, prepare in a better way and you're going to take on your adversary but what is more important Important is that intelligence. Any kind of a failure in intelligence can uh, lead to a problem for you. And once you have got the proper surveillance, you have got the proper intelligence. That means from here you are going to keep an, a bird's eye, that eagle eye, on each and every development on the ground. So that yeah. means you will be able to prepare in such a manner that you will have an edge, edge over the adversary. And yeah. this, you said that by going yes. with this uh, another step towards Atam Nirbhata, because Prime Minister Narendra Modi often keeps on talking about that we have to be uh, self-reliant so far as the defence industry is concerned, not to be dependent on others and over the period of time yes. we've seen that just few days back two missiles were also fired from so one this, of the indigenous warships. with this it is the drdo that has conducted its maiden flight trials of the stratospheric airship a big milestone thank you so much pradeep but i also want you to stay with us